sweet friends, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we are back in our kitchen. We're going to be adding tons of Christmas cheer. Now we'll be doing a little bit of cleaning and then I wanna share with you some Christmas vignettes that you can do across your countertops. I also wanna share with you a Christmas tablescape idea and we'll be decorating a flock Christmas tree with that gingerbread theme. Now, if you are new, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. And the reason why I say we're back in the kitchen is that I actually kicked off my Christmas decorating series at our coffee bar. So I've already decorated it, my mantle, as well as our family room. So if you happen to miss any of those, I'll go ahead and link those down below. Also, if you're interested in seeing where I've shopped and what I've picked up for Christmas, I'll go ahead and leave those shop and haul videos down below as well. And I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you go. I have lots of fun Christmas content still to go. I have our entryway, our dining room, as well as our bedroom. And then to top it all off, I'll be sharing with you our Christmas home tour. So if you are as excited about today's video as I am, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and start decorating. Today, we're starting off with an empty kitchen. I've already pulled down all of my fall decor, packed it away, and it's stacked up for next year in our storage closet. Over in our Eden kitchen area, our coffee bar is already decorated, which you saw in my previous video. I've already put up the slim flock tree that we picked up from Walmart last year. So before we start decorating, let's go ahead and wipe down the counters. Now we won't be doing any deep cleaning today, but I do want to get everything wiped down before adding the decor. I also need to clean off our kitchen table. There's some crumbs left over from breakfast. And what I'm using to wipe down the counters is the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner in the peppermint scent. Now I know that there's several other scents in this line for Christmas, so you'll have to let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. For me, hand Hands down, the peppermint is mine. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile. As you can see, I've also removed all of my kitchen essentials that I typically leave on our counters. And that's a tip that I have for you. Go ahead and clear away everything from your surfaces. Then when you go to put back your essentials, try to create different ways of displaying those items so that it's just more different, fun, and exciting. Spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you i don't need any presents as long as i spend this day with you mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you making plans what we're gonna do now for the fun part, which is decorating. For this first arrangement, I'm adding a grouping of my favorite items to display in the kitchen, which are cutting boards. Who's with me? I love to layer them, which adds tons of texture and interest behind pieces that will pop in front of them. The wire basket I found from Home Goods and the farmhouse milk can was from at home. To add warmth and a bit of coziness, I'm adding this small mini wreath to the wire basket. Let me give you a Christmas. When I'm decorating my counters, I like to add vignettes under the outlets. Now, not only does this conceal the ugly outlet, but the distance between the outlets provides, I think, the perfect amount of decor without making your counters look too cluttered and messy. So definitely give this a try and let me know what you think. And in a 
As you can see, I love to bring out and display a Christmas dish soap and hand soap, again in the peppermint scent from Mrs. Myers. And since we're here at the sink and it's needing a good clean, I'm going to go ahead and scrub it down. If you're enjoying today's video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And also go ahead and share it with somebody who you know. If you haven't already, I hope that you would consider subscribing if you enjoy videos like today's because I have lots more still to come. As always, I love to share with you some godly encouragement with a daily Bible verse. So today's comes from Nahum 1-7. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust Him. So today, friends, and all through this busy, hectic season, I hope that you can take time to pause, to feel His presence, His great kindness and love, and will trust him in all situations. One easy way to add a Christmas touch to your kitchen is to change out and display a Christmas tea towel. For this next arrangement, I'm adding this beautiful snowman tray that was a gift from my mama. I always display it in our kitchen and it is one of my favorite pieces that is very sentimental to me. I love using it every year to display our favorite Christmas cookie, which is my mama's sugar cookie. And it is just a piece that brings back all of the Christmas traditions and memories from my childhood. So speaking of Christmas cookies, what is your favorite? I would love to hear. To this side of the oven, it's all about having our essentials right at our fingertips. So I always place our salt and pepper shakers here as well as our utensils for cooking. But I do like to switch out the container. So I'm using this pitcher that I found from Hobby Lobby. And then I am thrilled with this find from the Target Dollar Spot, this green sleigh that it fits my salt and pepper shakers perfectly. And as you saw there, I added a small Christmas ornament that was from at home along with an oven mitt to just bring in a little bit more pops of red to add a bit of warmth and a wooden touch. I added this pestle and mortar that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And then because you can still see that outlet, I'm elevating the picture just a bit to conceal it all. And I just love how this arrangement turned out. For this last countertop arrangement, if you remember, this is the tree that I picked up from Walmart. I love that deep emerald green and how it pops off of our backsplash. So I'm using both of them here in the kitchen. I'm adding back in my false graph canisters, and then I'll be adding some wooden elements to give it that warmth and coziness that also balances the wooden elements on the other side. Since I'm going with a baking theme here in the kitchen with touches of gingerbread and candy canes throughout, I thought this red and white table runner from Hobby Lobby would look gorgeous and ground the centerpiece that I'll be creating here on our island. I'm starting first with a couple realistic looking pine stems that I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. Then to the top of them, I'll be placing a wooden cutting board from at home. A design rule that I like to follow is to place items in groups of three. It's known to be more pleasing to the eye, so it's more simple to decorate that way. Also, remember to use items that are different heights and use elevators to help you get that height difference, like this stand from Hobby Lobby that I'm elevating the candle with. 
Then I'm just going to go back in with some picks to bring in some pops of red and fill in any bare areas. Moving on, I love to replace the mat in front of our door, especially to keep the paw prints to a minimum from our two fur babies, Moko and Nyla, that are constantly coming and going inside and outside all day long. I'm so happy to report that Nyla is back to her playful self and no more limping. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about, we actually found an attached tick and she had started limping, so we were super concerned that she might have Lyme's disease. But with her quick recovery, we're thinking she just probably injured her leg. So thankfully, we just need to keep an eye on her and wanted to thank you all for your concerns and prayers for her. I really appreciate them. As you can see, the area over here in our eating kitchen, I'm adding a large tobacco basket that I think I picked up from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Then I added this flocked and berry wreath that I found from at home. I just really love the way it looks here on our kitchen wall. To the table, I'm adding placemats that match the island table runner from Hobby Lobby. For a simple table setting here in the kitchen, I want to bring in that farmhouse feel by using these galvanized metal chargers that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Then I'll just be adding my white plates. And then for contrast, I'll be adding the salad plate from Target that is black that will really pop off that white and will be the perfect backdrop to display a folded napkin, which I'll be sharing with you here shortly. For this simple but cute way to fold a napkin, you'll need a napkin that is somewhat thin material and a plain circle napkin ring. You'll first start by folding your napkin into a triangle. Next, you're going to start folding down the napkin three times. Now you're going to take the end third of the napkin and fold that inward, repeating that on the next side. Lastly, pinch that center and slide the napkin ring towards the center. and voila, a cute little bow to display perfectly on top of your table setting. For the centerpiece of the table, I'm keeping it super simple and just adding three block trees. Now it's time to move on to decorating the tree. And to it, I'm super excited to add some new Christmas ornaments that are in that gingerbread theme. Now I picked up all of these from Hobby Lobby. In addition to those, I'm adding some Christmas cookie cutters that I added some gold and red ribbon to to be able to attach them to the tree. Now you'll have to let me know if you've ever added a tree to your kitchen. This is actually the first time that I have and I'm absolutely loving it. As you see here, the base of the tree wouldn't fit inside the basket, but it is very balanced on top, so I don't feel that it's going to topple over. It's very secure. Then to conceal that, I'm going to use this blanket and I decided to go with the white side and use that as a tree skirt so that it kind of looks like a snow mound with a snow drift to the side. Wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. When I'm placing my Christmas ornaments on the tree, I like to place them in a diamond shape and kind of have the diamond shape 
be smaller at the top and then be a little bit wider and bigger at the bottom. So that's a tip for you. And then always, every few seconds, take a step back to see if you need to fill in in a bare area that you might have overlooked. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belt. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. And some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh it's such a charm so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the room from all the flocking that has fallen on the floor. And remember, this is my first round of decorating. I'm sure that there will be some changes, which I will share with you in my home tour. So you'll want to be subscribed, hit that notification bell so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to see it. And the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear. Okay, my friends, that is going to be all for today's clean and decorate for Christmas here in our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I would appreciate if you would hit that thumbs up button for me. You definitely will have to let me know what you think. It's Christmas. Outside snow's glistening. I am so happy with how everything is feeling so cozy and festive. I'm so excited to keep decorating our home and sharing all of my ideas with you. Up next, we'll be heading upstairs to our master bedroom to add lots of cozy Christmas touches in there. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Merry Christmas, friends, and God bless. I hope to see you soon. Bye!